What's up everyone? Bryce Welker here with CrushTheCPAExam.com. Gonna have a short video for you about how to stay motivated to study for the CPA exam. Um, in La Jolla, California, in my office, and came into a few emails this morning that all asked me, problem or telling me about their problems of staying motivated and asking me what can they do to stay motivated. Uh, this is, I mean, a common question I get all the time. So rather than firing off individual emails, uh, I figured might as well make a quick video and try to help out a lot more people. So there's only two steps you need to do in order to stay motivated for the C to study for the CPA exam. The first one is find out why. Why are you studying hundreds of hours? Why are you spending thousands of dollars on exam fees and prep courses? Why are you sacrificing uh, social aspects of your life? Why are you putting so much energy and effort and time and money into becoming a CPA? Why do you want to be a CPA? Do you love accounting or is there something else? And it's usually something else. My why was I needed, I wanted the $5,000 bonus I got for passing the CPA exam. I had to take out a loan just to buy my CPA review course and I had to pay that back and I could barely make my monthly student loan payments. And I was living paycheck to paycheck and that extra five grand was huge for me. And that was a big motivator. The second reason, my second why was uh, to prove everyone wrong. Uh, people told me that I wouldn't be able to pass all four sections on my first try because I had a full-time job and because I didn't get the best accounting grades in college and this and that and uh, look, you know, who are they to tell me I was going to prove them wrong. I had a chip on my shoulder and that drove me. So those are my two whys. Um, so what, are, what are some other whys you might have? Um, promotion, a job promotion. I got promoted to an accounting manager I, as soon as I got my CPA license. And with that, I also got a 30% salary raise. Um, those, those can definitely be your whys, uh, if that's what you're looking for, if that's what motivates you and what you're striving for. What, what is the result you want after you get your CPA license? That's your why. Um, some other ones are respect. Uh, respect from your peers, your friends, your family, and your supervisors. Everyone will treat you differently once you get your CPA license, I promise you. Uh, I was surprised because I didn't think uh, so many people in all areas of my life would look at me differently, but they did. And it's because they know you, you have the discipline, the hard work effort, and you did what it took to become a CPA and not, not a lot of people can do that. So respect is also a big motivator. So now that you've found your why, and you understand why you're doing all this stuff and pouring your heart and soul into it, you need to remind yourself. Remind yourself daily. And to do this is simple. Go get a piece of paper, grab a, a marker, and write on it your why. For me, I got a piece of paper, I wrote $5,000 bonus, and I wrote, prove everyone wrong. And I slapped it on the back of my door, and every day when I left my bedroom, I would see this. And every time I walk in and out throughout the day, five, six, seven, eight, nine times a day, this was going in my head. And it just became like the subliminal message of, this is what you gotta do. And then all of a sudden, studying didn't seem that hard anymore. Like it was it was hard learning the new stuff, but you know, I, I didn't dread it anymore. I didn't wake, I didn't like wake up and say, ah, oh, I gotta study. I just like, that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do to get here. Um, and then, you know, I kind of just got on a roll right from, uh, from that moment on because I got into a consistent study schedule and it wasn't such a hassle or a big deal. And, you know, saying no to people on the weekends, to parties got a lot easier. So take my advice, take two minutes and do this. I hope that you put this into practice and just give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? You know, you waste two minutes of your life. What's the best that could happen? Studying becomes a lot easier and you're not so bogged down by having to study. It's a huge reward and very little risk and it costs nothing. So give it a shot and that's my tip for the week. I'm gonna to try to do more of these videos uh, answering your guys' questions. So if you got anything out of this, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If, if you want me to cover a question you have, please shoot me an email, bryce at crushcpaexam.com. Um, I'm also releasing my new study guide next week, 50 pages of new content. 
um, all about how to crush the CPA exam. So this is all the stuff I wish somebody would have told me when I was studying for the CPA exam because there was no crush the CPA exam website when I was studying. And so I had to figure out everything the hard way. And you don't have to because you can learn from my mistakes. So uh, I'm gonna be giving away 20 free copies of my study guide when it launches next week uh, to enter. You can enter by adding, subscribing to my YouTube channel or adding me on Snapchat. My username is Bryce Welker one B-R-Y-C-E-W-E-L-K-E-R-1. Um, go ahead and add me on Snapchat. Send me a message saying uh, you want a free study guide. And if you do both of those, the YouTube and the Snapchat, then you'll get two entries. So double your odds of winning. And there's 20 prizes, 20 winners. So uh, odds, are, odds, are, odds are pretty good. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, please shoot me an email. Uh, I'm here to help you guys. This is what motivates me. Um, this is what makes me happy is getting emails from you guys saying that I did something to help you. So please, I'm at your service. Let me know what's up. Till next time.